If the shelter is being used for the first time, lubricate the sliding joints as shown. Remove the shelter from the carry bag. Note how the base of the bag is disconnected by the zip and the shelter lifted free, allowing the cover to slip off upwards. With a partner standing opposite you, lift the shelter slightly off the ground and walk away from each other, extending the frame. When extended as far as your arms will go, stay facing your partner and take hold of the lower concertina section and continue to extend. At this point, both go under the canopy. You will see that there are two apexes that push the roof up. With your partner, you both go to an apex each and simultaneously squeeze the framework together. This will extend the framework further. You will see the sliding leg joint will be inches away from its locating hole. At this point, whilst one is keeping tension on the framework, your partner goes to the corner joint. Carefully roll the canopy up slightly and lock the joint into place. Once you have one joint locked in, you can release the pressure from the framework and lock into place all the other joints. All the joints the spring-loaded pull pin design. Attach the canopy velcro around the framework. It is best to lift the shell to one side at a time. To extend the leg, lift slightly off the ground, then release the pull pin. The inner leg will now extend and can be locked into position at your required height. Now extend the other legs in the same way. At this point, the frame should be pegged down if on soft ground or weighted if on a hard standing surface, making sure all legs are straight and not sticking out. Each of the sides is attached in the same way, one at a time. First align and fix the velcro connection strips along the top like so. Secure to the framework with the straps as shown. At each corner the luggage strap fasteners should be connected. 50mm velcro straps help secure the side walls to the legs. Each side should firstly be zipped to the adjoining panel. The zip continues onto the PVC skirt at the base of the panel. Then the same cycle starting with the velcro strip along the top is repeated with each new side as required. At the base of each leg, an elastic hook helps to provide a neat finish. On soft ground, the sides can be pegged down on the inside as well as the outside as shown. The shelter should be anchored with the kit supplied, available as an extra or your own equipment. Connect the straps as shown around the top joint on the legs. Connect the other loop end around the heavy duty marquee peg or additional weight. The strap is then adjusted tightly so the kit gives a firm hold. On a hard standing surface, weights can be used to secure the shelter. Depending on the conditions, these can be stacked to add more weight. 